What is going on, guys? Jason Mathis, 48 here. And we're doing road to the show right now. And you see there, we are 9-5, and, and we are playing the second place Jacksonville Suns, who are 7-7. Seven and seven. We are playing at home. This is the final game versus Jacksonville Suns. And there you see on the mouth of the Biloxi Shuckers, we have Felipe Castro, and the Suns are going with Harold Carmichael. Both have two starts, but Carmichael has a win. So here we go, starting the game off. And our first opportunity will come at bat. As you see, we are in the series. 6 for 10 with a double and an RBI. But here in the bottom of the second, we're looking to maybe get on base. Or do whatever we can just to help this team out. And we look for a ball down and away in the dirt. So the count will run to 1 and 0. Oh. Now here comes the second pitch. And for us to look at anything but a ball... We swing way too late there, and that blows us by in a 94 fastball. So that will run the count to 1-1. One one. Third pitch. We're looking to make contact any way we can, and we do that. And then this hits a left field, but not far as it is medium left field, and we fly out for the second out of the inning. So our first opportunity in the field will come here in the top of the fifth. As you see, it is still 0-0 zero to zero here. And that's very surprising as we are a high scoring run offense every game it seems like. But today, we are slowing it down and we have nothing yet through four. And as we sim forward here, we only have one at hit. So the Jacksonville Suns pitch are doing very well on the mound. But here in the top of the six, we have another fielding opportunity. Still zero to zero, very tight knit game. But here you see a ball that's gonna hit off the wall and it's gonna bounce right past us. Center fielder takes beat on it. And the Suns have a runner on second base now with I believe one out. And that double leads to nothing but another single and now there are men on first and second for the Jacksonville Suns still here in the top of the six and you see a fly ball that we cannot get under until the last second it seems like but we do make the catch and the runners cannot go anywhere now in the bottom of the seventh inning it is still zero to zero but as I've said before bunting and small ball helps in the minors and that's exactly what we're going to do here as we lay down a bunt that actually gets popped up. But nonetheless, it is a sacrifice bunt. So we will have a man on second with one out. And that does equate to a 3-1 to shucker lead here in our final app out of the game. It would probably seem like bottom eight there, men on first and second with two outs. I believe we are 0 for 2 with a sacrifice and we first pitch swing here and it is a flat foul ball down the left field side and the count goes to 0-1 like our previous three at bats so here we go the 0-1 count and it runs in and we decide to swing for some reason that gets past us so now instead of a 1-1 count it is 0-2 here on the third pitch 0-2 count and we chop it foul behind the backstop so we get lucky to get a piece of it, but ultimate we are, ultimately we are looking to get on base with a base hit and maybe an RBI to help improve our stats. And here another foul ball almost gets past the first baseman, but it does not. So we are going to try, I believe, for the sixth time, or the fifth time rather. And we swing way too late on the 95 two seamer up high away and a ball that should not have been swung and as we wrap up this Jacksonville game you see we go not one for seven but that is the pitcher seven hits allowed one run one earned walk two, earned run two walks seven strikeouts and giving up a home run but that was good enough to get a three to one victory over the Jacksonville Suns as you see the box score 
and the amount of hits for us. We got out hit, but we scored more runs, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So now, we will jump into the next game against the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Get this winning streak going on a roll here. So here we go on the calendar. You see a five-game set on the road against Pensacola Blue Wahoos. And there you see the Orioles trade Chris Tillman to the Brewers. Joey Bayless goes to Orioles. But the big trade here is that we get Chris Tillman. So we now have a better starting pitcher here that will be in that MLB in the first two games of this Pensacola series. And hopefully just make an impression here as coming off two straight days off. We might be a little rusty, but there you see a roller coaster going so fast. I don't know how that is even possible. But let's get started here. Game number three versus Pensacola. Blue Wahoos and our first at bat will come in the top of the first inning with one out and two out 15 pitches so far for their pitcher first pitch and we're gonna smack it right up the middle and get a base hit so already a better start to this series than the whole series last time we played against the Jacksonville Suns just like the Jacksonville game it is still 0 to 0 here we are two for two on the day. As you see a check swing and the umpire does say we go around and we can't believe it here. This is a new animation added to the game. And I love the little animation so far. They're really on point, they're really detailed and they're very fun to watch. But here you see we get a curveball, good beat on it. Nice play by the second baseman and he will throw us out by a step. So now instead of three for three, we are two for three. And there you see Pensacola take a one nothing lead late in the ball game here in the bottom of the seventh with one out. We are in the field for the first time. And this ball is hit a ways, but a nice catch by us at the wall in the warning track. And we put away the second out of the inning. Now in our last at bat, unless I get on base here, here in the top of the eighth with two out, one on first. You know first pitch swinging isn't right, but they send the runner and we swing the ball in the dirt. So instead of a runner maybe on second, we are a runner on first 0-1 oh, count still. Here's the second pitch of the at-bat. And we give it a ride to right field. Is this a home run? It is. That is our first career home run in double A ball. And Steve, what a nice moment that is for him. His first home run as a double A player. Yeah, and you always like to get those firsts out of the way. But the first home run, well, that's kind of extra special for any hitter. This is exactly the kind of production that this team's going to be looking for him you know, as he moves up through the minor leagues. And there you see a shot of 359. We got a ball up on in the letters at us. And we turned on it and took it for a ride in the right fielders. You see about five or six rows up. And that is our first home run of the year. And we get the silent treatment off the bench. But then they come to realize, and I come to realize, that they were just teasing. We get a handshake from the manager because that is our first home run. And that also gives us the lead. So we sim forward here. Bottom of the ninth with nobody out. We really turn this game around with that shot right there. So Pensacola's last chance to do anything is going to get off our glove. And that allows him to get in second. That is a crucial error. And there you see three errors tonight. But... Thank God they don't have anything brewing because with the man on second and two outs with a two to one lead, we just get a fly out to end the ball game. And the Biloxi Shuckers, that's the name. We earn a win off a home run that we hit. And 
We might get player of the game, we might not, but let's see here. And a two to one victory is all it takes for us. And there you see we do get player of the game because of the crucial home run in the late going. I believe the eighth inning it was. And there you see our stats, three for four, one run, one home run, two RBIs. You will now see a replay of the home run or the card as player of the games get. And that is our first card with the home run swing right there. And that was a key hit indeed. Line drive home run into right field, which did give us the lead. So that'll wrap up this video, guys. As you see, we get 93 points. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends if you wanna, if you wanna let them see it. Comment down below on what I should improve on, what I should keep doing better. And lastly, subscribe if you're new. I will be putting this content content out daily of MLB. I do franchise, road to the show, Diamond Dynasty, and online gameplay in the near future. So, as from right now, guys, as always, to close out every video, JT Mathis48 signing off.